Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex here. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how to fix the um, discovered currently not indexed issue that a lot of people uh, are probably having on uh, with the website with uh, with Google Search Console. So if you're using Google Search Console, which you should be, it's probably one of the best uh, analytics tools for every site is um, on the main page here in the overview, you can see a lot of sites are going to have this problem. A lot of pages are not going to be indexed. Uh, and for most of you, it's probably uh, an easy fix. And so what you can do is go down to pages and just scroll down to, in this case, discovered currently not indexed. And for the purpose of this video, I will be going through uh, this one right now. You can just uh, inspect it uh, before you start to uh, try to resolve the issue, right? Just to make sure like if it was crawled, it would say it has not been crawled. Google has discovered the page either probably through the sitemap, uh, but for whatever reason they have not indexed it. Now what you're going to want to start with, do, um, what you can want to start with is go to the page and just review it, right? A quick review uh, will probably tell you in most cases what the problem is. It's probably just a badly formatted page. Uh, or the content is shitty, or it's just not formatted properly, or it's just missing some core, uh, some key components, right? It's missing something a page uh, should have. It's not helpful to the, to the users. Um, so from here, easiest thing you can do uh, is probably just resubmit it if you think the page is fine. Uh, but before you do that, uh, if it's not fine, uh, what you can start by doing is ask ChatGPT. And so I asked ChatGPT, what should have, and this is the free version, what should a blog post about the best provincial parks, da da da, da include, right? So ChatGPT is going to go through and give you some options here, intro, uh, just a bunch of information. What mine is missing is things like activities and things to do, uh, camping information, nearby attractions, seasonal considerations, uh, insider tips, right? It is missing a lot of that information, but I don't think it's that terrible. Uh, that it shouldn't be ranking. It could also be for this post, for example, Google Maps or that's just showing up. So there's really no reason for Google to index this, but I think that it can be uh, it can be indexed and, and showing up in the SERPs. So for this post, what I think the biggest problem is because the formatting is fine, the, the content is fine. I mean, it is mentioning some a lot of information here is there's no images for starters. And also what you wanna be checking is uh, if there's any internal links pointing to that post, right? So the first thing, or one of the first things I do uh, after reviewing it on uh, reviewing the page, is come into WordPress and I use Yoast and it tells you right here that there's zero internal links uh, pointing to this post. So from Google's point of view, from the overall website, website structure, this is really not an important page, right? Uh, so one of the first things I would wanna do uh, is go through and see where, which of the pages I can then, I can link to uh, from existing pages, ideally within this category uh, to the best provincial parks page, right? So you're gonna wanna click the category here that it's under the topic and just find one, right? That you can um, you can just do a quick edit on uh, and then see if, for example, if there is, it's not mentioned here, but you wanna add one or two internal links from other pages pointing to that page, especially if there's none. That alone is usually enough to, uh, uh, to fix it once you submit it for indexing. From there, uh, what I would then do is generate some images. So I would say, uh, please, generate five images related to the best, uh, what was it, campgrounds, the best provincial parks in Salt St. Marie, uh, 1.5 uh, to one dimension ratio, please. And now while that cooks up, if you're not using ChatGPT4, what you can also do is hop over to uh, unsplash.com and again find some images as you can see this one's already on the page but find a few images that might be relevant to add and uh, and go ahead and add those to the blog post right so I'm just going to pause for a second I'm going to add some internal links uh, or actually I'll just show you what I would do right so for example using ChatGPT 3.5 you can say please give me uh, five options or sentences that include the phrase and a variation of the phrase, uh, of the phrase, and I wouldn't include best, but I would just say provincial parks in Salt Sioux Saint Marie uh, that I can use for internal linking. Now this is just going to give me some options here uh, that I can just quickly paste into 
Uh, and this is actually linking to the post. It might be, uh, but this is just giving me some options here that I can then just go through and add to my other pieces of content, right? Super easy way to do it. Uh, again, if it doesn't give you the output you want, you can just change the prompt. Uh, and then uh, at this point, um, I'm not actually sure why the images are taking so long. Oh, that's probably because I, uh, I, uh, I ran the, I ran the other prompt. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna let, I would just let this cook up, uh, and then from here I would go, I would add the images uh, back to this page. I would make sure there's internal links pointing to this page, uh, and then uh, what you would want to do. And I think this page is like, it's not terrible, it's fine as it is, is just go back uh, and then paste it up here. You see these images, yeah, right? So it's just a single image, unfortunately, even though I asked it for five. Uh, but I would just add this to the post. I would go back, it's not on Google. I would just then click request indexing. And I really think it's good enough to be indexed uh, at this point. And once this is done, in a day or two, I would check uh, to make sure it was indexed. If not, I would just keep trying to improve it. And then another thing you can do is actually see why best. Um, okay. Uh, best provincial parks near uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. What you can do is just explore uh, the results here just to get a better idea of what's ranking uh, and to see why yours is not ranking. As you can see, it's covering on Northern Ontario, which is honestly too broad. It's covering Lake Superior Provincial Park, which I did not mention, which is not even mentioned in the query. Uh, so again, assuming that is the post is improved uh, and Google does pick it up, uh, which it will be in the next few days, uh, then there's pretty good chance it's gonna rank uh, in at least in the top 20 uh, from the start. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Super easy fix. Just manually review those pages, right? Add images, add content, ask ChatGPT how to improve it, what it needs to include, and you guys will be good. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you have any comments, questions, concerns, critiques, uh, and we'll see you in the next video.